Hey guys, today we're going to look at and review some trig. So trig will be used throughout the year in multiple different ways. We're going to use it to combine vectors, to break apart vectors, to solve for forces at angles and in different directions. So you're going to need to know how to use normal trig, so regular sine, regular cosine, but you're also going to need to know how to use inverse tangent because we're going to be doing some unknown variables that we're actually going to be solving for the angle instead of the legs of the triangle. So the first thing that we're going to do is practice solving for legs of the triangle because it tends to be the easier aspect of it. And while most of you know the SOHCAHTOA acronyms, I write mine slightly differently. So instead of writing them out like this, like your math teachers may have taught you, I write mine like this. And the reason for it is because it reminds me that when we do the math and when we mathematically rearrange these equations, it is not just straight multiplication. This reminds me that opposite is divided by the hypotenuse. This reminds me that adjacent is divided by the hypotenuse. So essentially what we would be doing here, the equal sign goes in between the big letter and the two smaller ones. And this reminds me that I have to divide those two legs of the triangle. So I like writing it this way, just as a visual cue, a visual reminder that there is a division aspect to this. It's just not straight multiplication. So if we use trig to solve for the side of the right triangle, everything we're going to be doing in this class is going to be either direct right triangles or being able to break apart two angles to form a right triangle. So here, we have this inside angle having a value of 32 degrees. Over here is our corner, that's a value of 90. When we look at the legs of the triangle, we always want to calculate from the angle given. Okay, so from this angle get given, I like to think of it as a Pac-Man. If I draw a Pac-Man body here, here's his mouth, and that's where he eats his little blobs during the Pac-Man game. The, whatever side of the triangle he opens his mouth towards, this is the opposite side of the triangle. Okay, so little Pac-Man guy, whatever he opens his mouth towards is the opposite side of the triangle. So I'm going to erase our little Pac-Man guy, and I'm going to rewrite opposite. When we have our Pac-Man guy, the leg that forms part of his mouth is the adjacent side of the triangle. Okay, so the one he's trying to eat is opposite. The one that forms his mouth is adjacent. So again, opposite, adjacent. And that leaves this being our hypotenuse. Okay, so we have the adjacent leg and we are solving for the hypotenuse. So if I come over here and I write my Sokotoa again, I want to use the one that has the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So over here, I'm going to use cosine. So cosine theta is the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse leg. So cosine 32 equals 12 over hypotenuse. Okay, so this gets a little bit tricky. I started off with a kind of difficult one. Because the hypotenuse is on the bottom of the fraction bar, we can't just multiply both sides by 12 because when we do that, it actually squares this top number. So we can't multiply by 12, but we can multiply both sides by the hypotenuse because that allows us to cancel out these two values and we have h cosine 32 equals 12. And since this is multiplication, we are going to divide both sides by cosine 32. And we get left with h equals 12 over cosine 32. And when we put that into our calculator, we are left with a value of h being 14 Point one five. Now that's a length, and since there are no units given in this problem, there are no units for us to mark. So we can just circle our answer of the hypotenuse value being 14.15. So this next example, again, if I draw my angle, this is the angle that we have. 
So if I draw my little Pac-Man, the leg that he's trying to eat is the opposite leg. The leg that forms his mouth is the adjacent leg. So here, we are solving for the opposite, but we know the adjacent. So if we come over here and rewrite our Sokotoa, opposite and adjacent, we are actually going to end up using tangent. So tan 24 is the opposite leg over the adjacent leg, which is 8. Now here, since 8 is in the denominator and the opposite leg is in the numerator, we can simply multiply by 8 because that will cross these two out because they're on different sides of the fraction bar. And our opposite leg has a value of 8 times tan 24, which is a value of 3.56. And again, there is no unit listed, so that will be our final answer since it does not indicate a unit. Now, if we have to solve for the angle, a lot of times in the problems that we're going to look at, we'll be able to calculate or add different vectors to have the eastward direction and the northward direction, or the westward and the southward. So here, we have the westward direction and the northward direction. And I want to know what this angle's value is. Okay, so in order to solve for the angle, we use the same three things. Sine, which is so... Toa. If we draw our Pac-Man, we have the opposite side and we have the adjacent side. So what we are going to end up using is tangent. So we write down tan theta, because this is our unknown, equals opposite over adjacent. So tan theta, which is 0 0.4, but now we have this tan theta and we have the 0 0.4, but I only want the answer in terms of degrees. So in order to rearrange this, we actually have to take the inverse of both sides. So these tangents end up crossing out and we're left with theta equals tan to the minus 1 of 0.4. So when we calculate that out, theta is 21.8 degrees. Now keep in mind, if you have a scientific calculator, a lot of times you are going to be going in between radians and degrees. In this class, I want you to be in degrees. If you are taking calc or pre-calc, it's likely that you're, that you're going to be in radians. So you might get an answer of 0.34 approximately, and that is in radians. You want your answer in degrees. Okay, so one more time. Solve for the angle of the triangle. So I've drawn my Pac-Man. I have my Pac-Man right here. This side is our opposite. This side is our adjacent. This side is our hypotenuse. So if we write out our Sokotoa, I want to use cosine. So cosine theta equals 7 over 13, which leaves us with cosine theta equals 0.54. And we want to take the inverse of both sides made a mistake here, ignore that. Those cancel out and we're left with theta equals 57.3 degrees. Okay, so that's how we're going to work with our trig. We're going to solve for the legs of the triangle as well as the angles of the triangle. In order to solve for the angles, we have to use inverse of whatever function we have the legs for the triangle for. All right, see you guys soon.